Alright, so today is actually Christmas Eve, and uh, I was out getting gas, and I was like, you know, there's a, a Goodwill five minutes down the street, so, you know, let's go check it out. And usually I don't go to this Goodwill just because it's, like, in the country, and it's mainly, like, old people type stuff. But I was like, you know, I got time to kill. It's Christmas Eve. I'm not really doing anything, just hanging out. And I guess Santa Claus came early. Ooh, Ludwig. Alright, so here's the uh, big reveal. So... Let's take a look. This case big enough, you think? All right, so there is something loose, so let's uh, take a closer look. All right, so at first glance, the shell seems to be in pretty good shape. Uh, the hoops, uh, they're not really in that bad a shape. There is a little bit of a pitting up here. This is probably the worst spot, but that'll clean up pretty easily. But the shell is pretty clean, all the hardware on it is clean, the lugs are fine, the tension rods seem to be fine. The throw off is ugly, but it works, so uh, yeah. And then this is probably the most interesting part of the drum. We got Happy Birthday, Heart You, looks like Joe Q or something, all scratched up. And then uh, two Kayla from Big Papa, or Pepe. And then the Rezo head is a little bit dented up, but uh, I plan on replacing the heads anyways. And then the snares are in decent shape. There's that one wire that's a little bent up. So I'll probably just clip that and uh, use that for a while. And then if I decide to sell it, I'll probably just sell it as it is. But if I decide to keep it, then I'll change the snares. And then all of the mounting hardware is in place. And the sound you were hearing was that thing. So that piece is for the internal muffler, which sits in that little notch right there. And it is missing the, uh, the thumb screw for it. It will go right in there. Like one of these things or this right here so if I need to I can probably buy one of those or I can try to cobble something together so I probably should have said this earlier but this is a Ludwig Acrylite and the reason I'm saying it now is because I honestly didn't know what kind of snare this was I'm not too good with vintage drums but one of my buddies knows a lot about it he's a drum nerd so you know who you are so thank you uh, so he helped me out and I dated the serial number and it goes back to 1966 and this is in fact a Ludwig Acrylite so it's 14 by 5, it's an aluminum shell, this is a magnet, and you can see it's aluminum because it doesn't stick, and it's the powder coated version because apparently natural aluminum was, you know, considered ugly back then, so uh, that's why it's the same color as my walls, so that's kind of cool, it matches the uh, studio. But I'm going to do a few things to this drum, get it tuned up, and then I'll play it. Alright, so Santa came early twice actually. Uh, I bought these hoops on eBay a while ago for another project, but he threw in this head because he said he didn't need it, so on to the drum it goes. So I found this knob, which I actually think it came with that kit, if I remember correctly. And then there's this knob, which I don't think goes to this drum set, but who knows, I might find a use for it. But I was going to use this just temporarily for the uh, internal muffler, but it turns out that these threads are too big for that, so it ain't going to work. And I thought about robbing one of the knobs from this kit just because I never use them on the Tom, but I think I'll be fine without it for now. All right, so I'm gonna slap everything back together. I got my tension rods right here, and then my white lithium grease, as always, in this little container that I made. So, let's get to it. And also right now the snare is under tension, but you can see it really needs some uh, alignment because this is resting on the bearing edge. Also, uh, it's using a rope, which likes to stretch out, so that could be the case, so I'm going to replace it with a strap. Also, if your drum uses a cable or a rope like this and the shell is wooden, there's a chance that over time the cable will dig into the bearing edge and cause it to dent a little bit. So if I ever get a drum that uses cable or a rope, no matter if it's a wooden shell or a metal shell, I'll switch it out with a strap. And I think I have one in here. Yep, these will do. 
All right, so change of plans actually. On the throw off, you'll see that it's uh, missing the little backing plate here where it screws together to clamp down. So I can't use a strap now because there, it's missing. And right now the rope is just going through the mounting holes. So I can't use a strap. But this throw off is actually a little bent, I think. And also the P85 throw off is pretty ugly and a lot of people hate it, like myself. So I plan to replace it at some point, but for now I'll just, you know, realign the snares and make it work. And I know you all are saying, Dave, how much did you pay for that thing? Well, check it out. 22 bucks. And this is one of the better deals I've ever gotten, so I had to put it on the bulletin board of whateverness. Alright, so adjusting the snares was a complete bitch just because of the missing piece on the throw off. And the strum still needs some work, and I need to change the bottom heads and change the snare and do some other little things. So if you want to see me, you know, fully restore this drum, then uh, be sure to let me know. But I got it tuned pretty decent, and I'm cheating and using a little muffling thing. So let's actually play it now. Whoops. the snare sound that has been missing from my arsenal of snares so I'll most likely keep the snare and I'll probably try to sell the case and who knows I might sell it for 20 bucks I doubt it but any money that I make off it makes that snare that much cheaper and I was gonna do a high medium and low tuning demo which is why you saw that first little clip in the beginning I was gonna do that with high medium and low but I did the high tuning I was like damn I really like the sound so I was kind of scared to tune it differently because I thought if I tuned it different then I wouldn't be able to get back to how it sounds now, which is how I really like it. And again, if you want to see a full video of me fixing up the snare, then be sure to let me know because I'll probably do it anyways no matter what you say, but yeah, let me know.